Shalom. Let us say our praises due unto Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Atakwadash. The bond to the apostles of Great Millstone. <coughs> Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. This is just uh, another lesson, quick video in regards to the climate that we're in. Is uh, Things are getting a lot more scarce, a lot of judgment, a lot of things happening, you know, throughout this earth. And, uh, you know, these are all judgments that's orchestrated by the Heavenly Father, you know, and His Son. <coughs> Isaiah 29 verse 6 Thou shalt be visited of the Lord the host with thunder and with earthquakes, right? So the Lord, you know, during this uh, freezing Arctic blast, you know, from the Arctic, you know, has uh, sweep, has swept across, uh, you know, Canada, you know, from BC all the way to Newfoundland going down to uh, New York, New Jersey, you know, Connecticut, all the way, you know, the California, Texas, you know, the Lord uh, is sweeping with the, with a lot of destruction. I shall be visited of the Lord the host with thunder and with earthquake and with great noise. You know, there's been a lot of earthquakes, you know, over this many years, there's been a lot of earthquakes, a lot of judgments and, uh, these are signs that you know and that matthew 24 you know are things to look out for you know because uh the lord yahweh Shai is nigh and uh the only thing that we're looking looking like the only prophecy that we're uh looking forward to is the uh motb you know and uh it's already here you know they're already uh they're gonna be do away with cash and basically uh you know you won't be able to buy or sell you know except you have uh to see him <coughs> in your flesh you know, revelation 13 and um 15 all the way down you know it goes into that you know and uh it says uh with storm and tempest and flames of the burning fire right? and th that's why the lord he's judging this place man right? says uh this is off uh sky news uh australia you know uh bomb cyclone it says bomb cyclone kills 20 no kills 12 in the u.s all right so um uh, you know this is a lot of destruction that's coming on this land man but this place is has a lot of uh, blood of the saints you know a lot of things is happening you know on this land man since uh esau you know took over man you know and uh this is just for uh, educational purposes so let me just uh play people have died as a result of a bomb cyclone in the u.s Temperatures in some areas dropped by 30 degrees Celsius in just 30 minutes. Millions of people are without power and more than 5,000 flights have been cancelled. Meteorologists are calling it a once-in-a-generation weather event. It's complicating the once-in-a-year festivities, to say the least. A pre-Christmas mass mobilization has been stalled by high winds. Yeah, so even right now, you know, people want to go fly out for their whole Christmas, all right, which is just uh, the worshiping of Yule, that deity, you know, and, uh, you know, Nimrod, you know, um, you know, and all that whole like festivity, you know, um, you know, um, you know, Saturnalia and all that type of stuff, Feast of Bacchus, you know, all these pagan stuff, what our people are involved in, and these and these uh, heathen, you know, the practice what they do, you know, so uh, like, like, you know, that's why the Lord is judging this place, man, and uh, you know, um. You know, tomorrow is gonna be uh, you know their Christmas day, so uh, we know that you know the, for the New Year's that something big is about to happen, man. And uh, you know anything could happen. You know there could you know we have to brace ourselves. You know if there's no power, anything could happen, man. Because uh, Joe Biden, 
for the past couple of years he's been talking about operation dark winter so uh anything could happen now 2023 man so we gotta uh look and we have to look forward to these things because these things are are real man all right Heavy snowfall and flooding in freezing temperatures. A number of cities have declared states of emergency, including New York. I called it a kitchen sink storm because it is throwing everything at us but the kitchen sink. We've had ice, flooding, snow, freezing temperatures, uh, and everything that Mother Nature could wallop at us this week. Yeah, I see, and they're talking about Mother Nature. No, it's just a father, your Heavenly Father. But, you know, but they rather, you know, like worship these deities, Pan and all these different deities instead of calling on the Father, all right? And, um, you know, you know, you know, like pipes are freezing. So, uh, you know, people, uh, there's no power, so uh, flooding. So there's a lot of judgment, man, you know? I'm sure it's way more than 12, man. You know, and there's thousands of people who probably died, you know, during this, uh, during this storm, man. You know, so, uh, let's go, let's play this. And I declared a state of emergency that took a place, effect at 6 a.m. this morning. The Arctic blast has forced the cancellation of several thousand flights and counting. The travel chaos is reflected on the roads too. Yeah, let's uh, let me get this preset. We'll look at the um, comparison. It says Isaiah twenty nine verse six, the NKJV. You will be punished by the Lord, the hosts. Right, so the world is being punished by the heavenly fire Yahweh of hosts with thunder and earthquakes and great noise with storms and tempests and a fire devour and a flame of devouring fire you know so this is the heavenly father who is orchestrating this thing man all right and she's talking about mother nature no this is the father man who is orchestrating these things this is the nlt isaiah 29 and 6 i the lord of heaven <coughs> I, the Lord of Heaven's armies, so the Lord of hosts of Heaven's army, will act for you with thunder and earthquake and great noise and with a whirlwind and storm and consuming fire. You know, so we see what happened, you know, with this bomb cyclone, man. Um, and then it says 12 in. It kills 12 in the U.S. So this is the Heavenly Father who's orchestrating this thing. And I'm sure it's way more people, like fatalities, more than uh, 12. You know, there's probably uh, hundreds or millions of people who's uh, died as a result. Because you have people on the street who's homeless, man. There's a lot of things, man. Mm, play this. I'm going to get... Um, Matthew 24 Matthew 24 and uh, 19 all right you know like this is the prophecy that that when like you know like when Yahweh Shai was on the scene you know, he told his disciples, to, you know, of things to look out for, you know, and, uh, you know, and basically also uh, the 70 AD, you know, he prophesied, you know, the destruction of Jerusalem, you know, and, uh, you know, and basically that happened with uh, the fall of Masada, you know, the, and, uh, you know, with the whole, um, the, the Sakaris, whatever that basically they were uh like they were fighting against rome but uh you know like they were basically uh trapped and whatever and uh they our people became uh our people was so uh famished you know that people return our people turned to cannibalism you know when you go into that history and woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days, right? So a lot of, you know, 
new mothers you know like newborns you know who's uh, having children you know when Jacob trouble is gonna come you know and it's already here you know uh, you see what's happening you know with this storm but when this thing gonna intense you know when the Lord's gonna uh, you know like we're gonna know when we're in Jacob trouble and our hell's breaking loose you know you won't be able to upload uh, these videos or nothing you know there's gonna be a censorship on the internet and uh, you know basically there's gonna be martial law and they're gonna come up they're gonna be like you know that like they're gonna come after the elect you know and um, so we gotta brace ourselves for these days and to gird up our mind you know to uh, you know that's gonna prepare our minds and our soul for these things that's gonna come on this earth cause things this is just the beginning and woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days but pray ye that your flight be not in the winter all right so people want to go travel you know and uh you know people want to go travel around the world you know go meet up with their family friends and all that but uh but you see this whole uh blast you know from the arctic that wind you know it 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 closed it stopped a lot of flights you know so people are at the airport and uh and they're not able to you know like travel to their destination whether it's uh, jamaica wherever you know bahamas wherever the hell you people are wanna like reside and travel to neither on the sabbath day you know and uh you know things are gonna get real man and uh we gotta we, you know like we got like we gotta prepare our mind for these things for then it says it says for then it says for then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time nor not even to this time so yeah they're saying uh with this whole you know this whole um this storm you know that 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 came throughout canada and uh, america you know this is uh you know this is like a record-breaking storm that's all you know basically like a third over 30 years you know like, um, like they haven't seen such a great disaster you know on this land you know for over 30 years so um we're in the times of great judgment This is uh, Matthew 24 verse 21 NLT for there will be great anguish than at any time since the world began and it will never be so great again all right so there's gonna be a lot of anguish man and uh, we're in that time all right that you know since the world we never seen this type of destruction that's good that you know that the Heavenly Father Yahweh is gonna bring you know to the earth man so you know this is just the beginning this is nothing right now you know the, the, the heavenly father is going to bring greater judgments and except those days should be shortened there should no flesh be saved right so if the lord doesn't come and save his elect you know that like we're going to be destroyed you know because you see what they're doing with the, the artificial air bad food you know that the genetically that the genetically modified food um you know but their whole uh that the artificial intelligence you know um the, the, the that synthetic womb you know like what they're doing and like they already been doing it you know like that's why they have a thing called um it's like a, the word slip in my mouth basically it's a predictive programming you know like that's what they you know when you watch uh the matrix with uh neo and whatever and he was being born and whatever like basically like we're living in that basically um you know like they don't want men and women to populate you know have sex what they're doing you know for many you know you know for many decades from world war ii you know they're doing a lot of experiments you know on um on woman's womb and basically uh like they're putting you know artificial wombs and and um 
you know, because I, you know, because some of these women don't even want to have children anymore, you know, and then uh, a lot of these, uh, these alternative guys, you know, you know, like they want to uh, basically, uh, you know, the, the, like to get like a, a, a young toddler or whatever, and then try to raise them, you know, but, you know, but you know what they do, you know, we don't, we, so the, the Lord doesn't come. No flesh gonna be saved, man. You know, they're giving us bad food and, you know, um, you know, like they want, you know, people to be eating all kind of artificial meat, food and meat, you know. So the Lord doesn't come, man. Like the Lord not, like the Lord has to save us because we're in that time, man. You know, we're in the, we're in the Egypt, man. Right? The house of uh, bondage, man. So the Lord doesn't come. The Lord's gonna have. The Lord's gonna have to save us because th th this earth is getting so wicked and wicked and vile that Yahweh Shai is gonna have to come. Except those days should be shortened. There sh should be no flesh saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Yeah. So the Lord, you know, we're we're in that time that the Lord's gonna have uh, like like compassion on the elect because it's gonna get so bad and nasty. Matthew 24 verse 22 in fact unless that time of the calamity is shortened not a single person will survive but will you know yeah if the Lord doesn't come because 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 it's like what they want to do they want to uh, see help everybody you know MOTB people and uh, you know and they want to you know like they want to corrupt the Lord's creation so the Heavenly Father is going to intervene and his son, Yahusha, saying to not a single person will survive, but it will be shortened for this, for the sake of God's chosen, Yahweh's chosen ones, right? So the elect, the Lord doesn't give a shit about the two thirds of our people in America and Canada, right? The Lord doesn't give a shit. The Lord's only coming for his 144,000, you know, and, uh, you know, men out of each tribe. And uh, you know, the elect is scattered throughout the globe. You know, you have you know, you have brothers in Suriname, you know, all over. Scotland, uh, London, you know, Ni uh, Nigeria. You have brothers all over, man. You know, on every continent, man. So um, with that, let's all praise do unto you. How about I'm gonna uh, run this video. Um, yeah, so with that, I'd like to see our praises due unto you. How about Shemi Oshai? Bashim Kakodash. This is for educational purposes. Shalom. With motorists stranded in whiteout conditions, more than 200 million people are under some form of weather advisory. That's 60% of the U.S. population struck by the phenomenon dubbed a bomb cyclone. The storm uh, intensifies really quickly. You can get uh, very damaging winds, and then the winds over the water can create can move water around. So you get huge waves, uh, storm surge, uh, coastal flooding. Uh, it can be pretty terrible. The severe cold brings disruption, but also danger to life. There have been several deaths. In Houston, Texas, a homeless man in a wheelchair fell into a fire pit overnight. He was found dead by firefighters called to the scene. In the cold temperatures, a number of cities, including Portland in Oregon, have declared a state of emergency, opening extra shelters for homeless people. More than a million people have had to cut off as the storm battles through North America before Christmas. It's seriously, it's dangerously cold. I mean, I would advise anyone, if you don't have to be out, don't go out. And if you do go out, well, you need to bundle up. There is no right time for conditions like these. It's certainly not right now.